okay so in order to add a contact us page we need to download a plugin so basically plugins in wordpress is actually what makes wordpress so great plugins with plugins you can extend your website and you can add great things like contact forms and facebook like boxes without writing a single line of code this is uh, plugins just leverage the power of developers who create stuff for free so now we are going to download a plugin called contact form which adds a contact form or an inquiry form to your website so how do you add a plugin so firstly go to your dashboard and uh, go to plugins so now your default theme and your default wordpress comes with a lot of plugins installed so in our case we're going to add a new plugin and this is going to be a contact form plugin so we are just going to search for contact form in this search bar and click on search plugins okay now it gives you a search result with a lot of contact form plugins but we are going to choose and we are going to install the first one basically the contact form plugin by best web soft so just click on install now and it will give you a dialog just click on ok and it will begin installing this contact form okay once it finishes installing just click on activate plugin and it gives you a notification that your plugin has been activated okay now as you can see your dashboard has changed a little bit and the plugin which you just installed by best web soft has come in your dashboard menu so you just go to bws plugins and click on contact form and let's see what it shows you okay now this is your backend this is where you configure your contact form so it says if you would like to add the contact form to your website just copy and paste this short code to your post or widget basically let us we have to copy this to our page to our contact us page and a contact form will show up so now to but to what email address will the query be sent to so in our case we will enter the user's email address which is uh, there's just one user which is me or i can choose to email it to whichever email address i want so you can enter your email address here okay that's my email address i'm just going to click on save changes okay now settings are safe so now it says in order to contact in order to add the contact form to my page i just have to copy the short form this short code and add it to my page okay so now let's create a new contact us page so you go to page dashboard pages add new let us name it contact us and let us copy and paste that short code now let us preview our website to see if the contact form has appeared or not okay here you go you have a contact form without writing a single piece of code okay so let's see if this works Oops. test message okay let us click on submit okay so as you can see without writing a single piece of code this contact form is intelligent it tells you that this is not a valid email address so I'm just gonna make it valid and click on submit so it says thank you for contacting us now let me check my email to see if I have received it or not and here you go i have received this email from the contact form which i just typed it even tells you your ip address and and your browser and the date and time 
and you know e even my service provider so there you go this is a very useful plugin and now the next thing we are going to add is our address so let us add it over here let's just add it address is seven city hall singapore street 56 street 67 okay unit 22 singapore i'm just adding dummy information and uh, telephone number Four, three, and email and then opening hours 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday to Saturday all right so let us preview our website to see what it looks like All right, so we have an inquiry form and we have our address information over here. So let's just make this bold. Okay, now what we are going to do next is add a Google map below this. We are going to embed a Google map which is going to show our address. So how do you embed a Google map? So just go to uh, Google Maps website, which is uh, let's just see what it is. Okay, Google Maps, which is maps.google.com. I live in Singapore, so it says google.com.sg. Okay, meet the new blah blah. So I'm just gonna enter City Hall. Uh, you can enter whatever address you want, and uh, it's gonna search for it. So, okay. So I have chosen Grant Park City Hall. All right, that is what the spin represents. Now, how do I embed this particular map to, our, to my website? So on the Google Maps page, go to the bottom right corner and click on this gear like icon, which is your settings. And then you click on share and embed map. Okay, a pop up will open. Just click on embed map. And this is where you can embed a map onto your website. So you just copy this code, which begins with iframe. Just select all, which is Command A or Control A, depending on whether you're a Windows or a Mac. And copy this. So basically right click and uh, select all, right click, copy. And go back to your page, go back to this page. And uh, instead of pasting it below here, you have to go to the text tab over here. And this is where the HTML code for the page you are creating is written. And, uh, and over here, just below this, you copy and paste the code which you got from the Google Maps website. Go back to visual and you can see that there is a map area there. And it's not going to show up here, but if you go to your preview section, your map is going to show up. And there you go. Now here you have a perfectly fine Google map on your website. And uh, all you have to do is go to the Google Maps place, enter your address and embed your map, copy this code and embed it on your website. So we are just going to publish now that our contact us page is created. Okay, now uh, the next thing we are going to do is create portfolio and blog pages. So uh, basically we have created a portfolio items, we have created a blog post, but there is no central page on which we can view all our portfolio items. So I'm just going to add a new page. And call it portfolio and under page attributes I'm gonna and under template I am going to choose 
portfolio grid. So basically this page will display a grid of all your portfolio items. So I'm going to click on publish. So that's it. Just enter the title and enter the template. So far, all our templates have been default templates. So let's view the page to see what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, all your portfolio items have been added to this page. Let's do something similar for our blog page. So let's add a new page. Enter the title, name it blog. And under template, we are going to choose blog and click on publish. So this page will contain a blog role, which is a collection of all the blog posts that we have written. So let's view this to see what it looks like. And there you go, both your blog page, blo both your blog posts are there on this page. Okay. Now the next thing we are going to do is customize our sidebar. Okay, now this section is your sidebar. Uh, with the search, it has a search column and recent posts, your recent comments, your archives, categories, etc., etc. So we are going to customize this sidebar area, and we are going to add a Facebook like box, a category section, and a recent posts section. Okay, now how do you add a Facebook like box over here? Okay, now to add a Facebook like box, we are going to install a new plugin known as Facebook. So how do you do that? Is go to plugins and go to add new plugin. Click on add new and search for the plugin called Facebook. Now this is a plugin uh, developed by the developers at Facebook and it lets you add a like box and it should be the first one. So it should be by Facebook and you just click on, uh, you can click on details and it'll open a pop-up and you can see what uh, this plugin is all about. It shows you screenshots, etc, etc and you just click on install now. And once it's installed, you click on activate plugin. And there you have it. You now have a Facebook plugin installed on your uh, website. Okay, now how do you customize this particular sidebar? And to customize the sidebar, you have to go back to your dashboard, go to appearance and widgets. So now under appearance and widgets, this is where you get to edit your sidebars. Now right now, this particular sidebar is represented by the primary sidebar. So as you can see, it has already got search and recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories and meta, which is the same thing you can find here. So our first job is uh, to remove all of these. So in order to remove this, you just click on it and drag it to the left into the available widgets section. There you go, click and drag to the left. So now our primary sidebar is empty. To see the changes, just go to your blog and refresh the page. And there you see, there is nothing in your sidebar. So now first thing is a Facebook like box. So just scroll down, search for the Facebook like box. Here it is. So just take it and click on it and drag it to your primary sidebar. And give it a title. Let's call it like us. And uh, let us, now we need to enter the URL of a Facebook page. So I'm just going to, Google for a Facebook for my website's name called Via Regio. Uh, I am just going to choose this Facebook page and I'm going to go back to my widgets and I'm going to copy and paste the URL over here. So I'm not going to display the latest posts. So just follow the same uh, boxes which I have clicked and click on save 
And once you've clicked on save, let us refresh our page to see what shows up. And there you go, you have a Facebook like box without writing a single line of code. This is how, this is how powerful the WordPress plugins are. Okay, now we are going to add a couple of more things in our sidebar and that is a categories and a recent posts sidebar. So let us add our categories. We can just go to this uh, categories, drag it to our primary sidebar and click on the title and add a title and click on save. Now we can rearrange our sidebar position. So if you want the categories to be above the Facebook like box, you just drag and drop it and drag it and drop it above the, the Facebook categories. So let's just refresh and see to see if our categories have come above and there you go. Your categories, which are your blog post categories are now above the Facebook like box. Okay, let's just uh, get the Facebook like box back on top. And now let us add another section for recent posts. So uh, basically we are just going to scroll down and choose this recent posts by virtue, virtue recent posts. So now just click on this. There's another way to add a widget to your sidebar in, in the latest version of WordPress. One way you've already seen is to choose it and drag it on top. Another way is uh, is to just is to just basically click on it which is just click on it and choose where you want to add it in our case it's the primary sidebar and click on add widget and it automatically adds it to your primary sidebar let's give it a title and say recent posts show the number of posts and choose which category you want we are going to choose all click on save now let's refresh to see if and there you go our recent posts have shown up on our sidebar all right so let's see what it looks like on a page there you go now whichever page you go you will have your sidebar well structured which shows a facebook like box so your readers can press the like button whenever they want and it shows your categories and your recent posts. Okay, so this is how you add sidebar to your sidebar widgets to your website. Okay, now the next thing is we are going to create a main menu.